Lysonium is much more abundant and it's chemically similar to lithium. It's on the same group in the periodic table. Sodium-based batteries could solve the lithium crunch. These batteries could become a viable, cheaper alternative, but it may take several years. Lithium gets most of the attention when it comes to battery technology, but its downstairs neighbor on the periodic table could eventually displace it. Sodium ion batteries are garnering attention as technological advancements suggest that, compared to lithium ion batteries, they could achieve similar performance in a wider range of applications, all without the supply chain headaches. Rising demand for batteries has caused the price of lithium to skyrocket. It's up nearly for 50% compared with last year, according to S and Global Commodity Insights. Sodium, meanwhile, has almost unlimited supply. Jason Jang, a pioneer in battery research and lead author of a recent Dolab report on a sodium battery breakthrough, told Emerging Tech Brew, like any battery chemistry, sodium ion comes with its own trade-offs. And although some companies, like Cottle, are exploring near-term commercialization, Jang said the technology will need several years to both reach maturity and for production to scale. Sodium is more abundant than the metals used in lithium-ion batteries, which makes it less expensive and more environmentally friendly to source. The concentration of sodium in the Earth's crust is approximately 500x that of lithium, and it can also be extracted from seawater. Sodium ion batteries are also safer because they are non-flammable and less susceptible to temperature changes than lithium-ion batteries. The biggest downside is that sodium ion batteries have a lower energy density than lithium-ion batteries. This means an EV with a sodium battery that's the same size as a standard lithium-ion battery would not be able to travel as far on a single charge. And to make matters more challenging, Packing more voltage into the same space causes sodium ion batteries to break down faster. Researchers, including Jang and his team at the Doe's Pacific Northwest National Laboratory, are working on extending the life of sodium ion batteries and improving energy density to achieve performance that's more in line with lithium ion cells today. Research they published in June brought that goal one step closer to reality. Jang and the PNNL team developed a sodium ion battery with a combination of materials that increased the lifespan over previous iterations. The key difference in their new battery is the electrolyte part of the battery in between the negative anode side and positive cathode side that allows ions to pass back and forth as the cell charges and discharges energy. As a battery reaches the end of its useful life, the electrochemical reactions that keep those ions flowing slow down, stopping the battery from recharging. This process happens much more quickly in current sodium ion batteries than in lithium ion batteries. The PNNL team found that a different liquid solution and a specific kind of salt create a new electrolyte that enables a longer life cycle than most sodium ion batteries previously reported. Jang said for sodium batteries, when you increase the voltage, the electrolyte is much less stable. So the conclusion of this work is we developed an electrolyte which is very stable even at higher voltage. Chinese battery giant cattle could begin making sodium ion batteries as soon as next year, and a number of startups are also working on increasing manufacturing capacity for sodium ion production. Yuk-based Faradion has been focused on sodium batteries since 2011. Hina Battery Technology in China, Tiamat in France, Ultrasab in Sweden, and Natron Energy in the US are all commercializing sodium ion tech as well. In the short term, sodium ion batteries could be used for applications that require lower energy density, longer lasting batteries such as stationary storage potentially easing some of the supply constraints on raw materials for the lithium ion batteries needed for EVs. According to some experts, researchers will continue to work toward improving the energy density and stability of sodium ion batteries, Chang said. When sodium battery tech is fully developed, it should be able to power light-duty EVs along with energy storage systems. The PNNL team is also focused on improving the anode and the cathode in their sodium ion battery, Chang told us. 
The goal is to identify materials that would improve the anode and could eliminate cobalt in the cathode. But getting this new sodium battery from the lab into commercial production could take 5 to 10 years, Zhang estimated. He said the lab doesn't yet have a commercial partner, but it's actively looking for industry partners to commercialize the tech. He said sodium batteries still need significant work, so we don't want people to think this is ready to's technology. We still have a lot of work to do before commercialization. Is the sodium ion battery technology mature? It is understood that sodium ion batteries, like lithium batteries, are composed of a positive electrode, a negative electrode, an electrolyte, and a diaphragm. Compared with lithium ions, sodium ions are larger in size and have more stringent requirements in terms of material structure stability and kinetic properties. This is also the reason why sodium ion batteries have been difficult to commercialize. What is the difference between the manufacturing equipment of sodium batteries and lithium batteries? The manufacturing equipment of the two materials is almost the same. The only difference is to change the raw materials used to make the battery. The ternary materials of lithium batteries or lithium cobalt oxide are all controlled by engineering electricity and solid phase methods. The raw materials invested in the cathode material production line are mainly lithium carbonate, nickel oxide, benzene acid or metal salt, plus lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide. The metal salt in the sodium battery remains unchanged, that is, lithium carbonate or lithium hydroxide is replaced with sodium carbonate and sodium hydroxide, but the entire synthesis process is the same. For positive electrode manufacturers, the current lithium battery positive electrode production equipment can be basically used, but some adjustments need to be made to the specific production parameters and conditions. But the equipment is basically the same. The difference in graphite will not be too big. The electrolyte is basically similar, that is, the dissolved Dell IPF6 is replaced with then a PF6, but it is not much different from the entire lithium battery production line. Will sodium batteries replace lithium batteries? No, it is generally believed in the industry that sodium ion batteries and lithium ion batteries are complementary to each other rather than substitutes. Due to the low energy density of sodium ion batteries, they are more suitable for use in medium and low speed electric vehicles and large scale energy storage. As the industry increases investment, the technology matures, and the industrial chain gradually improves. Cost-effective sodium ion batteries are expected to become an important supplement to lithium ion batteries, especially in the field of fixed energy storage. It has good development prospects. The requirements for batteries are mainly divided into higher capacity, faster charging speed, safer and lower cost dimensions. In his view, except for the temporary inability to meet the higher capacity, other aspects are the advantages of sodium ion batteries. At this stage, sodium ion battery products will be mainly used in application scenarios below 150 watt hours kg, which can alleviate the limited development of energy storage batteries due to the shortage of lithium resources to a certain extent. There is no obvious bottleneck in the large-scale mass production of sodium ion batteries, and they will quickly seize the market with their own characteristics in specific markets. Sodium ion batteries are positioned as the most economical high-safety energy storage batteries. After large-scale production, the performance of lithium ion batteries will be realized at the price of lead-acid batteries. The development of sodium ion batteries is a process of self-breakthrough. Sodium ion batteries will inevitably face off with lithium batteries in the end, competing for competitiveness and snatching the market. Although the cattle has given a clear timetable, the industrialization of sodium ion batteries also needs to overcome the difficulties of technical performance, industrial chain, mass production and cost. For energy storage applications, the importance of improving cycle life cannot be ignored. According to the published information, the cycle life of existing sodium ion batteries can reach 5,000 times, but it is still much lower than the current cycle life of commercial lithium iron phosphate batteries of 8, 0 to 10, 0, 0, 0 times. 
If sodium ion batteries want to become the backbone of the energy storage field, they still need to continue to experience in terms of technical performance. Finally, sodium batteries do have a huge market, and with the popularity of new energy vehicles and energy storage industries, they are expected to replace the traditional lead-acid battery market. The prices of cobalt, nickel, and lithium carbonate are constantly increasing. Under the rising market conditions, sodium salt can be said to be a big advantage. But we cannot reject the characteristics and advantages of lithium batteries. At least in the next 30 to 50 years, lithium batteries may still be one of the mainstream batteries in drones, smart wearables, medical and industrial industries.